User-generated content plays a crucial role in engaging audiences and building trust. The photos, videos and other content created by your users is invaluable, but they can end up being poor quality and not reflective of your company's brand. Using Cloudinary and AI, we can revitalise the images and make the most out of what your users create, regardless of the initial quality. Photos are a great way to build social proof for your products or services, but they may lose clarity and quality as they're shared through different messaging systems or social media channels. Or maybe they're just poor quality to start with. Fortunately, Cloudinary has some tools to help reverse the damage that has been caused by extensive processing and compression, and enhance the overall appeal of images to help you to elevate your website's visual content. There are many options you can use to improve the look of the images on your site. You can even combine them to take advantage of all their strengths. If you're handling images in bulk, you can programmatically apply these enhancements automatically. In this video, we'll use a React environment, but you can use similar code in other JS frameworks and languages. Once you've installed and configured a Cloudinary, you can instantiate a Cloudinary image object for the image you want to improve. In this case, we've got a photo of a wedding couple. It's such a great photo, but it's very poor quality, having been downsized and compressed while being shared on various apps. Let's start off by applying the generative restore effect. This effect uses generative AI to recover and refine lost image details due to compression and overprocessing. Import generative restore from Cloudinary URL Gen Actions effect and apply the effect to the image. We can compare the original image with this image by using the React Compare slider library. Let's instantiate another Cloudinary image for the restore effect and remove the effect from the original. Then set the source properties of item 1 and item 2 using the toURL method of each of the Cloudinary images. So on the left we have our original image and on the right is our generative restored one. You can see that the right side is a lot sharper and the details are clearer. Now let's say you want to enlarge the image. Normal upscaling, just increasing the dimensions of an image, makes the quality even worse. But if you use Cloudinary's super resolution upscale effect, it actually improves the quality, especially for faces. Like the generative restore effect, it's using generative AI to smooth out the artifacts. Import upscale from Cloudinary URL Gen Actions effect and apply it to the original image. Let's compare the original image with the image that's upscaled with super resolution. Notice how smooth the faces look and the clarity of the details. It actually upscales to four times the resolution so you can safely display this picture that was originally 400 by 400 pixels at any size up to 1600 pixels square. Next, let's try the enhance effect. This effect uses an AI model to analyze the image and then applies various operators to enhance the image. It improves things like exposure, color balance, and white balance. This time import enhance from Cloudinary URL Gen Actions effect and apply it to the original image. If we compare this result with the original image, we can see the improvement in colour balance, giving a warmer feel. We can also try the improve effect, which applies an automatic enhancement filter to the image, adjusting the colours, contrast and lighting. The improve effect is imported from Cloudinary URL Gen Actions Adjust and applied to the original image. We can see that this effect has enhanced the vibrancy of the colours in the image. The compression artifacts are still present with the enhance and improve effects, so let's try combining all of these effects together. We can simply chain them one after the other, with each effect being applied to the result of the previous. Wow, just look at that improvement! And you can apply the same transformation to hundreds of images on the fly. Imagine the positive impact this could have on your website, and with very little effort on your part. Next up, let's learn how to use Cloudinary and AI to crop images automatically.